Okay, hello. Good evening. This is a uh, national trainer, national arbiter, uh, international chess coach Glenn Garcia from Rainy Chess Academy. And now tonight we will cover some of the games of uh, the uh, ongoing MVP SF National Secondary Online Rapid Chess Championships 2021. This is the equivalent of Palarong Pambansa Continuity Plan Pilot Event starting December 3 to December 30, 2001. And this is, is of course, uh, sponsored and organized by MVP Sports Foundation and Smart Communications. Of course, uh, uh, with the help and cooperation of Kagoran ng Edukasyon and Palarong Pambansa Committee. Okay? ng Department of Education. So, okay. So, let's uh, now take a look at the schedule. The schedule of the event is as follows. Okay? This is the Luzon leg. Remember, tapos na po yung uh, Mindanao leg at saka Visayas leg. Okay? So, this is the Luzon leg. Na postpone po siya kahapon due to uh, weather conditions ng ibang players. Uh, nadaanan sila ni Bagyong Odette. Okay, but now is a sunny uh, is a good weather day. So natuloy po, no? So kanina pong umaga 10 AM natuloy po yung opening ceremony. Ah uh, Sabado po ito. Today 11:30 ang round 1, 1:30 PM ang round 2, 2:45 PM ang uh, round number 3, 4 PM ang round number uh, 4 and 5.15 p.m. ang round number 5. Kinabukasan naman po ang susunod na laro which is Sunday po. 10 a.m. ng umaga ang round 6. 11.15 ng umaga ang round 7. Alas 2 ng hapon ang round 8. And 3.30 p.m. po ang round 9. Pagkatapos nun magkakaroon na po ng awarding ceremony sa hapon. Okay, yan po. Okay, let's now try to uh, uh, take a look at the... Uh, games, no? Magpipili lang po tayo ng mga i-analyze natin games. Hindi po natin cover lahat, no? So, for this reason, uh, I will now uh, take you to the first uh, game uh, from round 1 sa boys division, okay? So, napili ko po ang laro ni uh, international master Michael J. Concho laban sa isang player na nagangalang Juan Edgardo Crisostomo. Black po dito si Michael Concho at meron siyang rating na 2024. Ayan po. Okay. So, tignan po natin yung laro. Nag-start po yung laro ng E4, King's Pawn Opening. Nag-E5 po si uh, Michael Concho. Knight F3. Okay. Normal naman po yan. Uh, the most popular second move sa E4, E5. Knight C6. Then, we have the Rui Lopez. Okay. Michael Concho played A6. No Morphe Defense. Bishop a4, knight f6, and po. Uh, we are approaching Rui Lopez. Castle king side. And now, may option dito si Michael Concho na pumasok ng Berlin. Pero I think he instead played the uh, bishop, uh, what do you call this? b5, no? I, I, I stand correct. Hindi po pala Berlin, no? Open Spanish, no? So b5, bishop b3, ayan. Pwede siyang pumasok ng open Spanish dito by playing knight takes e4. Okay? And after d4, okay, pakita lang natin. Knight takes e4. And after d4, okay, blunder po yung kain, no? Pakita ko lang. Meron pong ganitong tira, no? And after d5, meron pong ganyan. Okay? And after queen takes, ganito. So, ang ganda, no? Dalawang klasing pin. May pin sa king. Ayan. Kita nyo po, may pin sa king ng black. At may pin din sa queen ng white. Ah, ng black. So, hindi pwedeng i-capture parehas. Ayan po. Okay. So, let's go back to the uh, game proper. Ang tinira po ni uh, Michael Concho is Bishop E7 approaching um, Marshall attack ng Roy Lopez. So, nag-D3 po ang kay Marshall. Okay. Ano pong mangyayari pag pumasok sa Marshall attack? Ang Marshall attack po para siyang gambit sa black. No? So, let's say C3. May idea po ang uh, black na pumasok sa gambit. So, halimbawa, castle king side, rook e1. Ito po. Ito po yung sinasabi natin yung martial uh, attack. No? So, nagbibigay po ng pawn kasi nakita po nyo po, no? dalawa na yung uh, uma sa e5. So, 
Knight takes, knight takes, rook takes. Okay. And c6. Yan po yung approaching uh, the martial attack. So, yung bishop po ng black pupunta rito, ititreten po itong rook. And then, pag atras po ng rook, is queen h4, ititreten naman po ito. So, kasi yung bishop at saka yung queen, nakatutok na po sa h2. So, maganda po yung opening na yan. Pwede nyo pong aralin. Very solid po yan. Okay. So, let's now uh, play what uh, kay anti-martial. h6, no? Para walang bishop g5 siguro. And then, White decided to play knight c3 here. So, instead of playing the knight here, ito po yung typical plan ng uh, Ruy Lopez. Umiikot po yung knight pa ganyan. Uh, White decided to play knight c3 para siguro sa possibility ng jump dito. No? So, yun nga po nangyari sa game. Bishop b7, okay. Medyo archangel variation na yata to approaching. Iba na pong variation to ng Ruy Lopez. Kasi usually po d6 kaso kanyang po yung line na. No? So, h3. D6, Knight D5, Knight A5, atakado yung Knight sa D5, atakado yung Bishop sa B3. So, ang objective ni uh, Michael Concha dito is either to gain the Bishop pair or uh, to get control very solidly sa center lang. No? So, what happened was Knight takes F6, check, kinain ng Bishop, Bishop T5, and C6. Ito po, natutuwa ako sa move na to kasi... Uh, hindi po na-exchange yung very powerful bishop ni Michael. No? So, pwersado to. Okay? Bishop B, bumalik. Okay, bumalik. And now, uh, Michael Concha has the chance to gain the two bishops. Ayan na po. No? So, very... Uh, I can consider na slightly better na po dito si IM. No? Kasi sa position na to, wala pa pong atake yung white. Uh, wala pa siyang central presence. Tapos two bishops. So, black lang ang pwede mag-expand dito. And if white attempts to open the position, lalamang po yung bishop pair. Okay, so king h7, ayan po, no? Medyo nag-iingat-ingat din si IM, no? Okay, so now he's preparing to open the position with breaks such as d5 and f5. So, f4, dito medyo strange, no? Kasi white should try to uh, close the position, no? Para magkaroon ng laban yung knight niya. Pero dito, parang tinutulungan niya pa. Kasi after pawn takes pawn, meron pong kain dito sa B2. Ayan po. So, tignan po natin na nangyari. F5. Kain. Kain. Ayan na po. No, Nag-open na po yung position. Uh, Bishop C3. Queen D6. Ayan. Another mistake by white. no? Another mistake po ito. Kasi magkakaroon ng possibility na uh, mabuksan lalo yung position. Which is favorable po ito sa two bishops. So, uh, G takes F5, Knight F3, another blunder. Kasi yung looming tong advance na to, yun ang nakakatakot. Uh, Rook AE8, okay. B4, no? Mukhang wala ng plano yung white dito. Planless play na siya, no? Basta maka, ano lang siya, maka move, no? So, dito, uh, black holds all the trump cards. C5, ayan, no? Nakita nyo, very active ang bishop na to. Very active ang bishop na to. So, superior na po yung position ng black. Every piece, if you compare the minor pieces to black's minor pieces, napakalaki po ng diferensya. No? Plus, black lang ang pwedeng mag-break. So, takes check, king h2. Another, wala na. It's hard to suggest na kasi nga superior yung position ng kalaban. Meron pa mga possibility ng b4 uh, push dito. I-displace yung bishop. But, queen d6 lang, ang threat is e4. Hindi yata nakita to ng, ng white eh, no? Ang tinira ng white dito is queen d2, which is na-blunder na rin siya. Maybe out of pressure. And then, after e4, white simply lost the piece and uh, lost the game, no? So, I will uh, show you the rest of the game without further comment na lang. Ayan po, nag-resign na po rito si Juan Edgardo Crisostomo. Okay, I hope you like it guys. That's the the that's my analysis of uh, round 1. Okay, so pause po na po tayo. Pause po tayo ng kaunti para sa <coughs> next round. This is setup ko lang po. Okay, so
Okay, so we're now uh, discussing the second round, okay? So, ang aking nang napili ay laban ni uh, John Paul L. Mahawan from BCA. Isa po siyang uh, member namin, no? BCA Philippines. At ang kilalang uh, player na si Chester Neil Reyes, napakalakas na player po ito, no? Lalong-lalo na sa Bullet and Blitz, no? Ano po siya? Sa Bullet and... Pagdating sa Bullet and Blitz... Uh, I think ang handle niya sa leeches yung chip-chip yata. Chip-chip. Siya yun, no? So, napaka-lakas sa uh, bullet and blitz nito, guys. Kaya yung tumala ng master. Okay, so let's look at the game. Tingnan natin kung medyo lumaban naman ng kaunti yung ating uh, player sa BCA. Na si John Paul. Okay, so D4, we have a London system. Nag-Bishop G7 lang po si Chester Neil Reyes. Kilalang specialist po si chip-chip sa modern defenses or yung mga opening na nag start sa Fianchetto, no? Yan po yung kanyang uh, signature opening. So, E3, D6, Knight F3, Knight F6, approaching London versus King's Indian. H3, Castle King side, Bishop E2, C5, C3, Knight C6, and Castling. Okay, mukhang papasok na to sa preparation. Uh, tignan natin kung anong pipili ng black. O, B6, okay. So, another alternative here is yung kumakain dito. No? Malakas din yan. Okay, so b6 lang. Knight d2, bishop b7, rook c1, rook e8. Approaching e5. Ayan po. Um, rook e1, okay, very passive, no? I'm expecting a little more like uh, bishop g5 probably or kukuha rin siya ng centro. Pero tignan natin. e5, bishop g5, h6, bishop h4. Queen e7, ayan, nakita po natin medyo lamang na po sa sa center control, sa space yung black, no? Dahil sa pag uh, form niya ng ng pawns. Okay. So d5 po, pawn sacrifice, pero hindi dahil merong pin. Kaya lang dito pwede yata mag g5, pero tingnan natin, okay? Okay, so nag-play it safe lang si Chester, knight b8. E4, okay, change niya yung nature ng pawn structure. Making his light square bishop medyo malungkot kasi blinak niya yung, yung view ng bishop, no? Pero, in return, medyo naharangan din yung kapangyarihan ng bishop sa b7. But, the problem is, mamaya-maya merong, merong pawn avalanche dito ng g5, f5. Yun ang nakakatakot sa white. Sa black, sorry. So, g5, yan na nga po. Knight h5, bishop h2, preserving the London bishop. Knight f4, bishop b5, knight d7. Siguro mas maganda for me if I will play black is rook f8 kasi gusto nating uh, i-preserve yung yung knights dahil close yung position. At the same time, meron tayong tempo gaining move na a6. But okay. Knight d7, knight f1, a6, bishop a4. Nako, nagpapatempo siya sa queen side. B5, ayan po, no, parehas flank kontrolado na ng black. Uh, bishop c2, c4 Ayan, may mga potential na Poster rito kung sakasakaling Mawala tong isa dyan no? Knight e3 Knight c5, bishop takes knight Pawn takes uh, bishop And then knight f5 Ayan So, ku uh, ku kudos naman Kay John Paul na no? nagawa niyang uh, Matanggal yung bishop pair Pero tignan natin, okay So, hindi muna, nag knight d4 na siya Okay, B4, wow. Okay, ano idea niyan? Siguro para maalis yung control ng black sa D3 square at mag empasant dito yung, yung black. Pero syempre, okay, in-empasant na nga. Okay, so, I think a much better choice is to transfer the other knight here. But okay, who am I? Bishop pair naman, so okay lang yan. Okay, takes, takes, bishop T7. Okay, may pressure na. May potential pressure na yung black dito. Potential potential uh, pass pawn dito. So pero malakas yung knight knight f5 ng white no. So okay lang yan. Parang may konting um, may konting laban no. Pero hindi pa naman talo. Okay, b4, knight b7, queen d3. Okay, anong idea ng queen d3? Maybe to clear uh itong diagonal to for potential checks mamaya. So the knight will capture maybe somewhere and then push e5. Okay, rook a c8. Ayan na po. Tinanggal na yung napaka-dangerous na g7 bishop. Okay, rook c1. Okay, ang tanong, bakit hindi nag e5 dito? No, I don't think e5 will do much because after takes here, check here, 
King F8, wala nang kasunod eh. Guys, sa mga ganitong position dapat may mga kasunod yung threats, no? You're, you're giving up the pawn. This pawn will eventually fall, fall next and this is very weak. So matatalo rin, no? Let me show you guys. Analyze E5, rook takes, queen D here, king F8, walang kasunod po. So eventually this pawn will die, this pawn will die. So losing na po yung white dito, I think. Okay. Tignan natin yung nangyari sa game. Knight takes bishop, rook A1, A5 pa rin, pinilit, no? Okay, knight takes B5, but hindi kinain to. Okay. Ah, uh, mag mababalik yung knight dito eh, mawawala yung control. Just madali lang siyang i-pick up din eh. Gaganon lang tapos Okay, so knight takes, pawn takes, okay. Okay, pawn takes F3, ayan, no? Ano to eh, king side structure, ano na to? Uh, disrupting, no? Yung ano, actually dito sa position na to, meron pang pwedeng gawin yung black dito eh. Very simple lang, no? You can play takes, takes, and then takes. Kaya lang meron pong queen takes knight. And siguro yung inaasahan ni John, ni, ni Mahawan. Okay? But there's another form kasi meron to. Rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes. So, two piece naman for 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 a rook. Pero siguro, ni-reserve lang muna ni Chester Neal yung mga threats na yan. So, nag-F3 muna siya. in a trust Nakita ni John Paul yung opportunity na... Um, Ma mawala yung possibility ng 2-piece for a rook pero ayan na po eh andyan na yung abrelata no bubuksan na yung king ni John Paul so takes takes knight f5 check okay to remove the dangerous bishop exchange rook c3 very strong move from uh, Chester although there's ito kasi hindi mag mag work no yung 2 rooks for a queen kasi rook takes takes here takes here meron pong takes dito So, hindi po mag ma po pwede. So, queen dito lang. Ayan na po, applying pressure. Bishop e4 takes. Okay, bakit hindi nag-take? Okay, syempre pag king medyo exposed eh, no? So, meron din possibility siguro ng queen h4, mga ganyan, so, may mga check doon. Pag bishop naman um rook c2. Ayan, makukuha ng black yung buong second round. So, kaya siguro ginano na ni John Paul para mawala na yun. Okay. So, dito, no, another strong move, no, maintaining the pressure. So, nagtingnan nyo guys, no, especially yung mga nakikinig na medyo beginner ang level. Uh, pagka beginner to, automatic yan, ipapalit lahat ng rook, no? Pero, by doing that, your advantage will diminish kasi mawawala na yung pyesa na nakalagay dyan. It's better to apply pressure since, since defended naman to twice eh. If the ex the trade happens here, maganda pa rin yung may, meron pa rin advanced post advanced na piece na posted yung block. So halimbawa, uh, ito nga yung tinira. Okay, nag F3 dito. No? Let's, let's analyze this one. This one, so halimbawa yan, probably queen siguro. Okay. So, end game na to, lamang ang black kasi unang-una weak tong pawn na to. Weak tong pawn na to. Double pawn. Tapos may pat potential passer dito, no? Pass pawn tong H file. Eh. Active yung rook. Etong once na bumagsak tong pawn na to, magiging active ring yung knight by by going to the C5 square. So ayan, lamang na lamang ang black dito. Okay, let's go back to the game. Rook C1, rook C4, F3. King H7, ayan, no? isang hallmark ng malakas na master, yung iniiwas yung potential pin or check dito, yung queen trade, no? So, siguro, uh, nag na, nagbago na yung isip ni Chester dito, ayaw nyo na ng queen trade, itutuloy nyo na yung kingside attack, no? Kasi, mas active nga yung pyesa niya. So, takes, so si rook na pinakain niya. Queen G2, okay, wala eh, walang entry eh. Rook C8, no? Ito na, may threat na siya na na queenless no win material king g1 rook g8 queen h3 ito yung nakakapagtaka no bagay kasi uh, kapag nagtry mag-activate ng queen may mga possibility ng f6 no kakapag check pa yung bishop sa king so magugulo pa so chester just simply transfer the king so rook a8 queen g4 king h8 tong mas syempre hahanapin mo yung pinaka safe na position ng king 
Uh, although medyo active na rin yung rook dito, ito ang problema ni, ni John Paul dito yung exposed king. No? Wala na eh. Nakaangat na lahat ng pawn niya. So, queen h5, rook g8, queen h2. Okay. Hindi ko alam bakit hindi siya nag rook a2. Rook a2 looks strong. Ah, merong rook c8 check. Okay. Rook g8, queen h2. Ayan na. May threat dito. May mga potential na entry dito. No? May threat sa, sa rook. Okay. Rook c2. Queen f6. No? Shifting naman. No? Ayan naman ang threat. No? Ang galing ni Chester maghanap ng mga butas. Okay. Rook c1. Queen g5. May konting repetition. Siguro to gain time on the clock. Rook b1. And then knight to d8. Siguro i, uh, ano niya to, i re route niya. No? f6, knight, knight e5. Ganun, para makasama sa sa... So, again, sa, sa chess, guys, especially yung sa middle game, isa sa mga principles yung tinatawag natin, ano, uh, improve your worst uh, piece. No? Hanapin mo yung pinaka mahinang pwesto na piyesa mo, tapos baguhin mo yung pwesto niya. No? Bago ka mag-commit mag ng atake. So, kita mo, naka, nakaumang pa lang tong queen and rook ni Chester. So, gusto niya maganda yung pwesto ng knight bago siya mag-start makipagsabayan. No? So, knight d8, b5, b5, yan yung trap ni John Paul na ginagamit niya na yung pass pawn. Knight b7, b6, so hindi pala pwedeng gamitin ng knight. So, naging blockader na lang ang duty niya. F6, ayan, no? F4, ako, I don't, ay, hindi ako pabor sa F4 kasi it further exposes the white king. Isa na nga lang ang pawn cover niya yung F2, eh. So, queen g7, rook b3, king a7, so medyo nagsasayo pa sila rito. Rook h3, knight c5. No? Pinot na pressure to para hindi makaangat yung queen. So, knight c5, attacking the bishop. Siyempre, depensa lang tayo. Okay, hindi ko rin gusto sana to. Kasi, mas maganda na makontrol mo tong knight. No? Isa sa mga technique dyan is siguro is bishop c2. Para lahat ng papasukan ng knight. No? Yan, covered ng bishop. No? Eh, dito, may mga pasok na gano'n. No? May mga atake sa f4. So, let's see. Ayan, ang likot nung rook ni Chester Neal. Rook g3, ayan na. Yan sinasabi ko. May may sundot na sa ilalim. Makukuha na yung queen, no? No blunder siya ng rook g3. It's hard to suggest any move here, guys, kasi yung pass pawn hindi maka-advance, ang daming bantay, oh. No? Tapos expose ang king, hindi rin maka basta-basta maka-activate yung yung rook queen at saka yung bishop. So, yan po ang nangyari kapag ine-expose yung king niyo. Rook g3, I think this is over na. Okay, oh, ang ganda ng switch. Bakit hindi kinain? Oh, kasi pag kinain po, pag kinain po, may kain din dito, check. Ayan po, mukha baka manalo pa puti. Hindi naman siguro kasi blockaded, pero alanganin. No? May, medyo malabo sa sa panalo yan, baka tabla oh, at most. So, inactivate na lang po ni ni Chester yung queen kasi dito may mga potential entry. Wala siyang entry dito eh. Kaya naghanap siya ng entry dito sa kabila, no? Pero actually na dito. Ato, ah okay. So bago niya check-in, itinanggal niya muna 'to. Pinostihan niya para hindi makalapit yung king sa knight. Okay, very good. Rook g2, ayan na. Check na ko nagpamate. Ubos tayo. Nagpamate na lang si John Paul. I'm expecting something like bishop e2 siguro, pero I, I don't think it will save him. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the game, guys. Let's uh, pick our uh, chosen game for round 3. Okay, so our next game is a, a game by one of my former student, National Master Ivan Travis Ku. Okay, siya yung kauna-unahang National Master uh, ng San Juan City. Okay, so let's look at his game. This is round number three. Okay, 
So puti dito si National Master Ivan, ang kalaban niya is someone named King R. K. Baktol. Okay. So the game start with knight f3 ready. D5, g3, okay, approaching king sinjan attack or ready system. C5, C4, okay, parang ano no, baliktad na binoni ito. D4, E3, takes, takes, G6, D4, wow, no, very aggressive talaga si NM uh, Ivan, no. He wants the position to be very open para, okay, bishop G2, E6, castle king side, knight E7, knight C3, castle king side, bishop F4, knight F5, attacking D4, multiple times, no. Ayan, it's only twice defended so kailangan defensehan po ito ni NMI Ivan. Okay, instead of defending, he simply push it. D5, nag-create siya ng pass pawn. Okay, rook e8, hindi po maayag yung black. G4. Okay, wow. Okay. So, grabe, no? Very aggressive talaga. So, ang idea niya siguro is to clear a path here and no, magkaroon ng mga potential attacks sa 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 F file, no? Okay, so E5 counter bishop g5 f6 counter again no but uh, i think f6 is not so good siguro queen b6 na lang mas maganda no si uh, queen b6 tapos saka aalis yung knight but okay f6 takes 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 a g6 ayan no so after that skirmish na double po ni National Master Ivan Travis Ku yung yung G pawn ng black at the same time medyo exposed po yung king and meron pa siyang uh, protected pass pawn no so marami siyang trump and possibly blockading the E4 square so knight E4 ayan na nga po threatening G5 G4 knight eto na nagamit na ni National Master Ivan yung uh, F file no at uh, well very simple lang play dito no Uh, maraming pwedeng mangyari Queen h4 here, threatening mate here Let's see how black reacts Bishop f5, maybe try, trying to trade Okay, d6 Okay Okay, maganda yan no? Nag-positional approach na lang si NM uh, Since this pawn is very dangerous as well no? uh, Kiniclear niya rin yung path to diagonal na to And yung potential check dito sa d5 ng queen no? eh, he, he can enter that way takes takes knight d7 ito na queen takes g4 queen b6 check king h1 rook d8 dinepensahan lang yung knight queen takes g6 ayan no very bad na talaga ang position ng black so knight g5 lang dito ayan na ayan na pa ako sa kabaong knight g5 and it's over knight f8 ayan removing the guard no pwede rin sigurong check dito tapos check dito pagbalik doon saka sa sacrifice pero bakit ka pa maghihintay ito na eh check and black simply resign kasi analyze natin of course pag rook takes pag rook takes mati rito okay pag uh, king takes may check eh check balik and then mate so very good no very good performance nice game by national master Ivan Travis Ku very good Okay, so let's try to move on to our next uh, uh, featured game. Sandali lang guys. Mamili tayo. We go now to round number 4. Okay, round number 4. Mili tayo. Okay guys, this is round number 4 and I decided to feature uh, the game of one of our prized members, isa sa pinakamagaling naming member, no? Si uh, National Master Fidi Master uh, Mark J Bacoho. I'm not sure kung na-confirm na yung title niya no na FM. But I'm pretty sure ang strength niya is 
uh, hindi nalalayo kay I am den den no? kasi sabay sa nila to no? mga bata pa sila nakakablitz ko to sa Guadalupe mall no okay so let's go straight to the game now okay so bako syempre E4 player yan I'm not sure kung nagdi D4 siya pero E4 player talaga yan Sicilian tayo okay So, nag-accelerated. Uh, Iniwasan ni Bako yung preparation. nag lang. Okay. Bishop B5. O, oh, medyo may konting mix to, no? Rosolimo and uh, Alapin, no? Grabe. Bishop G7. Castle Kingside. E6. No? Winikin tong D6 square. Delikado yan. D4. Takes. Takes. H6. Naku, napar napaparami na yung phone moves ng black, no? gusto gusto ni Bako yan. Very aggressive player si Bako. Ayan na nga po. D5, may tempo sa knight. Gusto niyang buksan tong e-file. Para maka-atake siya. A6, sumabay lang yung black. Iwas lang. Knight e5, takes, takes. F4, ayan. Yan yung problema, guys. no uh, Medyo naglag na siya sa development. Open ang position, eh. hindi close. Eh. So, I don't think black can afford this type of uh, uh, strategy or uh, way of playing. no Style of playing. Uh, ayan na, no? Ako, dito pa niya nilagay. No? Siguro nire-reserve niya yung option ng possible coordinated attack ng bishop b8 at queen h4. Pero, okay. Sabi nga ni Fisher, no? Tactics flow from superior position. So, kapag ang position mo is inferior, do not attempt to make tactics kasi either magbabackfire siya or kakapusin. Kasi kailangan mo munang mag-equalize sa position. So, I think black is doing a wrong strategy here. Knight c3, check sa a7, king h1, knight e7, d6, ayan ang puro tempo inabot. Knight c6, e5. Okay, pwede rin siguro f5, no? Pwede rin siguro f5, master bako ko. Kasi pagka tumira ka ng f5, potential na mag-activate itong f5, itong bishop, pwede rin tumulong, the king can... Ayan. Pero ibang approach, no? Nag medyo nag-end game safety play si ano, no? Medyo lamang na siya rito kasi nga, ito, paano may activate yan dito? Mag B5 ka. Pero ang problema, yung paparating na ganyan, no? yun ang mabigat. Okay, so B5, Bishop C2, Bishop B7. Ito na, may mga check na ron. Uh, King F8. Okay, bakit nag King... Sorry, sorry guys. May napindot ako mali. Okay. Bakit ng king f8 dito yung black pat hindi na lang nagcastling? So, said ang castling, guys, kasi pag nagcastling kang ga sorry. Balik ko ah. Pagka nagcastling 'yan, check king. Ang daming atake aabutin niyan, no? May queen g4. Ganon. may mga potential dito, may mga potential sacrifice rook leaf. Nakakatakot 'yan, guys, no? Pero I don't think king f8 is better. No kasi paano mo i-activate tong rook? So ibig sabihin uh, since na simulan mo sa sa pangit na development, dapat nag make ka ng effort para ma-correct, no? Yung mistake na 'yon. So ayan, kinontra lang kasi yung knight anytime pwede naman bumalik sa f6. Ayun na. Okay. Bishop e3, konting pin. Knight f5. Takes takes. Ayan, ito siguro yung hinihintay ng black eh. G4. Wow, no? Ayan, no? Kulog guys, oh. So. Ay, hindi. Meron pa rito. Sorry. Oh, bakit ganun? Sinadya ba to? Ah, may queen D4. Galing naman, no? So, yan. Sabay. Okay. And then, wow. Gusto tumabla. No? Removing the shelter, no? Para magkaroon ng mga activity yung black, no? Check, check dito. Mukhang tatabla nga pag kinain. Kinain. Okay. Check. Oh, rook c8. Gusto pang manalo, no? Grabe talaga itong itim. Gusto pang manalo. Okay. Uh, queen f2, syempre. Uh. Lips to lips na yan. Okay. Queen takes. Knight g. H5. Kita-kita yan. Uh, may mali ang h4. Kasi po pag ini... Ewan ko kung ano mag ginawa. Uy, nag h4 nga. Rook takes. Patay. No? Mali po yung h4 kasi may ganitong sack Tapos queenless Ayan natin kung yun ang ginawa ni uh, Ni O oh, yan na nga Okay, queen d1 Too late na, rook h1 Check And sinayawan lang Check Check 
check Queen F3 Harang Kain ng pawn Okay, in end game na Yan na Puro ano na to Puro diretso na tira rito Okay, check 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 Gain time sa clock, syempre And syempre, gagawa ka ng pass pawn D6 Yan ang deadly Okay, Queen E7 Padadaanin Okay Mangulit Ay, pusa na blunder na Queen D5 Ayaw na mag-isip <laughs> Wala kasing check Kung tignan nyo guys Ang galing nung, nung knight Lahat ng check ko covered Ayop na yan Queen D5 Ayan na po Katapusan Okay So, thank you guys Ayan po ang um, Game ni Ah uh, Mark J. Bakoho ng Kabite. So, let's try to choose uh, the next game. Round 6, I think, is ongoing. So, tamang-tama, aabutan natin, guys. We uh, look at the... Round 5, sorry. Round 5 pala, no? Round 5, ano kaya magandang i-cover dito na game? May snipe-snipe muna natin. Mamili tayo, guys. Okay. Nakapili na ako, guys, no? Siyempre, medyo may pagkiling ako sa mga BC <laughs> kasi sigante natin yung mga yan. Okay, so now let's take a look at the game of uh, Arena Fidi Master AFM Gabriel Ryan, Gabriel Ryan Paradero. Okay. So let's look at his game. E4, D5, no center counter. Takes knight F6, no? Knight F6 line, no? Okay, hinayaan lang. No, meron kasing gambit line dito na C4, C6, or sometimes E6, no? Ayan, ganyan, no? So, very strong ang attack nyo ng black, so... Hinayaan lang. Tama yung decision ni Gabriel. Okay, Bishop G4, H3, Bishop H5, Bishop E2. Okay, normal development. At eh, saka anytime, meron kang tempo sa night, eh. So, yan ang maganda dyan, eh. No, center control is good. Bishop e7. Ooh, knight c3. Iba ang choice ni Gabriel, no? I don't know bakit ganyan. No? Magpapadouble to pawn kaya to. Okay, c6 lang ginawa ng black. g4. Bishop g6. Knight e5. Gustong kunin ng bishop pair. Knight d7. Knight takes knight. cd. Bishop b5. Ayun, doon tayo nalungkot. No, blunder yung black. Dapat, dapat ed. Para walang ano. Ano bang problema niya? Parang equal pa yan, eh, no? Oo, parang equal pa. Dapat ED. No, blunder yung black grave. Ubus. Nakalungkot naman. Ganun-ganun lang, paralo na. Sorry, guys, ha? Hindi ko alam na ganun, 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 ganito kababaw yung game, eh. Okay, let's look at another game. Pwede pa na mamamili ng iba. Yung medyo exciting. Okay, round number 5. Ito, pares magaling to guys, eh. Pero na-feature ko na si... Si... Ivan eh. Okay, so let's feature another player. Very talented player from Pampanga, John Clifford Labog. Ano, kapatid po ito ni Kevin Labog, no? Kung nakikilala nyo. Kung kayo ay madalas na sumasali sa tournament, sa rapid tournament sa Manila, or sa ibang lugar, madalas mababalitaan niya yung magaling sa blitz, no? Matinik sa blitz si Kevin Labog. At ito kapatid niya, no? Si John Clifford Labog, mas bata. Uh, sumasali rin to sa BCA, no? So let's feature this game. He's playing white against a very talented player, Jamler Uy. Alam, alam ko, nakalabang ko na to sa Pampanga, tabla yata kami. Okay, so e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, four knights po. e3, yun ang nobility. Hindi masyadong kilala to, no? Usually po rito is bishop c4, eh, or g3. Okay, pero tingnan natin. Bishop e7, bishop c4, Ayan na, no? Standard po ito kasi may, may fork dito pag kinain. Uh, pero may bishop takes up 7. And, oh, yun ang pinasok niya. No? Isang way din is to play something like this. Para lumuha ng konti yung king din. Ang problema kasi dito may mga d5, no? Medyo malakas yung center control ng black. After d5, I think, medyo favorable na sa black to. No? Ayan, no? So, yun po ang dahilan bakit hindi ginawa. Okay. So, ito na lang. 
para may kain sa e4, bishop d6, ayan, may double pawn. Kaya lang, ayan na, queen e2, castle kingside, h3, e4, ayan, hindi po pwedeng kainin guys, may rook e8, atras lang, e5, ayan naman ang susundutin siya, no? So, lag, so pag nagkasling dito, blunder na, may ganito. Pag kain, kain doon, may mga potential na kain na tactics as kain doon. Grabe, queenless pala. Yan ang lupit. Pakita ko lang guys ha. Ganda kasi nung line eh. Castle, pag kumaso, dito. Kain, kain, kain. Ayan na po. Queenless. Grabe. Ang lupit mo, T4. So, A5, di pwede mag-castling. Queen C4. Suntok sa, bu suntok sa buwan na C5. Night G, walang kadibe development Jambler, oy, what are you doing? You're fighting against Labog Hindi ubra yan, Bishop A6 Queen D5, ayan na Queen E7 Ayan na po, napupwersa na siya sa mga Unnatural moves eh, kasi Hindi ko alam kung bakit Ganito yung play ng white So Knight E3, Bishop F4 Queen F5, takes Takes, Rook A D8 G4, G6 Ayan, no? Guys, kumpleto na yung development Although may double po ng black no? Walang kadibedevelop Hindi nakakasling Itong dalawang pyesa na to hindi gumagana So, yan na no? Clean up na para lalong hindi ma-develop Okay, pinilit Para nga naman makacheck doon C3, wow Hindi nga pala pwedeng kainin no? Takapin Ubus tayo dyan Depensa Ayan na, dodoble <laughs> Pipilahan na guys Fatal na yan Fatal na H4 Ayan guys So ito yung sinasabi ni Fisher ba? Diba? Tactics flow from a superior position So hindi superior ng position mo You shouldn't go for tactics So King E1 Takes 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 At may check doon Grabe naman yung lalim naman ng, Ano na yun Kala ko titignan mo Parang quality down You know may kinain ba ron? Wala eh. Pero, yung, yung check dito mabigat eh. Saka pupunta dito lang. Tapos may check dito. Boos. oh rook F2. Ito naman. Yan naman ang problema. Hindi ka makakaharang ng rook F1 kasi may kain lang. Okay? May bishop eh oh. May tutok dun. Oh. So, rook F1. Patay tayo niya. Uy, in game na lang. Patay bishop. Ah, may check din dito. May trap yung white guys. Pagka pagka bishop takes rook, may check dito, may kain pa ron oh. No? Pero I don't think talo na eh. Pero potentially no, potentially. May laban no kasi syempre rook na yung kakainin eh. Although may mga ganong opening check na. Okay, tingnan natin ha. Queen F6 check. In end game na ni Labog and then rook dito. Ito simpleng win eh. Napaka simple win itong principle na to. The king is cut off from the second rank. Matatali yung rook sa depensa nito. Aakyat ang king. Walang kahirap-hirap. May potential na pass ko dito. So this is a safe safe win. Okay. Hindi mapipigil ang tatlo. Tatlo isa yan eh. Ayun, walang pass po yung white. Okay, ato. This is a matter of technique na lang to. So hindi na ako masyado magko-comment. Yan, twin passers yan right? meron ako nabasang libro pag ang dalawang connect, pag ang connected phone daw tuloy-tuloy uh, at yung mapipigil lang kasing lakas ng rook yun para kang may rook na sobra rook take c6, rook b8, rook c2 king g1, king e6 ayan na, dire-direcho lang kayang-kayang bantayan yung isang pass point. wala na guys silabog pa kaya ako nasasabihin guys kasi uh, nakakalaro ko to si Labog sa VCA note. Napakalakas ng batang to. G1, mate. Okay guys, so that's it. That's my uh, summary of so far of 5 rounds ng... Uh, uh, okay, sa girls naman. No? Wala pa pala akong girls. Puro boys yung tinignan ko. Sorry guys ha. Medyo nalilimot na matanda na si coach. Okay, so tignan natin ang girls division naman. Okay, round 1, start tayo sa round 1 Pilipili tayo ng mga kilala natin dito 
Okay, my student, Women National Master Kayla Lane Rigidor. Okay, so let's see. Let's see case performance. Round number one. Okay, secondary. Okay, my student. Okay, see Precious Heart 2 pass played E4 against uh, K. D5 po, center counter si Kaya. Yeah. D4, knight F6, knight F3, E6. Wow, bago. Ba may bagong research yung sugyante ko. No, usually kasi dito, bishop G4, bishop F5, or C6. Tingnan natin yung plan na yun. E6, bishop D3, knight BD7, castle. Ah, nag ano lang siya, nag solid. No? Nag solid play lang siya. Takes, takes, queen E3, rook A, D8. Ayan na. Bakit naggagan yung play yung wide? Hindi ko naiintindihan. Mm. Bakit nagbigay? Nagbigay ba? Hindi. Okay, rook A, D1, X-ray, bishop F6, C4. Siyempre, bibigay ng pawn. Uy, ang ganda na, no? May ganitong trick. Tingnan natin, ha? Okay, pinasok. Rook F7, walang problema, sabi ni K. Rook D1, cover the weakness. Wow, ang galing ng counter ni Kay, ha? Okay? So, kumounter sa rook at this, dalawang threat, no? May ganun pa. So, rook F1, walang iba. Wow, another counter threat. Galing, no? Uh, instead of just moving the rook away, kinounter to para maalis yung aggressive piece. Oh, gusto niya ng endgame, lamang ng pawn eh. Mas marami siyang pawn, naanim na yung pawn niya. B6, H3, and E6, C5. Ayan, ang pinaganda yung pawn structure. Ginamong chain. Guys, the strongest pawn formation is a pawn chain, no? Kung gusto niyong maiwasan ng mga weak pawns para mapita, baka mapitasan kayo, ilagay nyo sa chain yung mga pawn nyo. Okay, so, okay, aral na aral yan sa akin, no? Pawn chain is the best defensive formation ng pawn. Rook 7 takes, check, e7, queen e2, check, king f6. Ayan na. Kaya na ni Kato. Abot na to. Wala. Okay, so, kung titignan nyo guys, may outside pass. Pero mas malapit yung outside pass po ni K. Yan ang problema dyan. Mas pawn majority pa sa king side. Yung perpetual check, aakyat din lang ni Kay yan. Alam niyang mag-chacha. Tinuro akong magsayaw yan eh. Okay, queen takes a2, king h3. May mga potential na f4. Okay, so supportahan na yung pass pawn. Sinewan niya lang. To gain time sa clock siguro. Ayan na. Maandar na po yung pawn. Maiiwasan at maiiwasan yung check eh. Hindi mapipigilan. C3. Ayan o. Guys, binibilisan ko lang ha. Kasi matter of technique na lang to eh. Ayan. Dalawa na yung queen. Okay. That's K for you. Round 1. Congratulations, K. Let's go to round number 2. Okay. Kilala ko rito. Ah, oh, okay. Mukhang maganda to, ah. Okay. So, let's go local, guys. Okay, this is a game between uh, Rohani Sabuto. Ano to? Kapatid to ni National Master Al-Bashir Buto, which is my uh, former student. Tinuruan ko rin to at one point, si Rohani siya, no? And Rian Edora, hindi ko siya estudyante, pero taga-Sambales siya, which is I'm also from Sambales. So, I'm very proud na merong taga-Sambales na nakapasok or sumali sa sa patimpalak or sa event na ito. Okay, let me just drink some water. Okay, let's continue. E4, Sicilian tayo. Close Sicilian. Very, ano naman to, automatic tong opening. I don't need to explain. If you want to uh, know the theory behind close Sicilian, marami po sa YouTube. Bishop E3. Ayan. Medyo kakaiba ito. No? Usually kasi dito, ang plano is G4 tapos na yung G3. Kaya lang medyo mabilis to. Pero A3 lang eh. A3. Hindi, hindi desirable kasi yung ganito kasi magwiwik tong pawn. So, dapat A3 lang muna. G4 tapos na yung G3. Balik doon. Okay. 
Another way is queen d2 tapos pag bini4 knight d1 naman. No? Protektado kasi yung pawn sa bishop. Tapos may potential na balik yan dito. g4 g5 knight g4. Okay, so knight g1 knight e2. Wow, ano to? Not sure ah. Okay. Buti hindi tinarahan ng ganito. Bishop g4 na dapat. Okay, pakita ko lang guys ha. Bishop g4. Hindi pwedeng kainin yan. No? Pag kinain, check. Ay, mali yata si coach. Ha? Mali, dapat pala. Okay, sorry guys, mali yung naisip ko. Mali, dapat naka x5 yan. Okay, anyway. e5. Queen e1. Knight d4. Takes, takes. Ayun na, napitasan na rito. Pero may rook c1 ha? Pipitas dito. Okay. Ayan na. Okay, sumabay. Sumabay po si Horanisha. Nagkumain siya sa b4. Pc7. Kain mo na ron. Ayun lang. Nakainan ng dalawang beses. Takes. Rook c1. Bishop c6. E5. Ayan na. Material na to. Pero may mga material din doon. Kaya lang. Quidless eh. Daming pins guys. Bishop e5. Kinain na yun. H2. Dinipensahan. Ayun na. Hindi nakita. Ano pa bang ibang tira dyan? Ito rook b6 lang siguro. Walang iba eh. Rook b6 lang. Tapos papatong na rin ulit dito. Ayun na. Tapos na. Ganun din pala. Wow. Ubos. Ubos. Wala na guys. Dalawang piyesa na yung lamang. Goodbye. Ayan. Okay. <coughs> Let's pick another game. Tayo ay... Anong round na to? Round number 3. So round number 4 na. Round number 4. Ano ba ako? Am I making sense here? Okay, anyway, bilisan na natin to. Alijin. Oh. Ah, ito si Arlea. Okay, maganda to. Okay, guys. Let's look at this game from uh, isa rin sa member namin yan, si Arlea Cassandra Sapuan. So, ang kalaban niya is si Maria El Eliza Villa. Villa Fuerte siguro to. Hindi ko masyado nakita yung name eh. Pero anyway, let's start. E4, E6, French defense po tayo. Tarash variation, tapos naging burn variation, kain sa e4 ng early. Knight f3, bishop d3, bishop e7, takes, takes. Knight f6, balik. Castle king side. Usually kasi guys, et, ang sharp na line dito is castle queen side. So dapat sa mga position na to, queen e2. Tapos final way, siguro bishop g5 and then castle queen side. Para magamit mo itong mga king side pawns against uh, black's king. So nag safe play dito si Arley, ano? Pero wala kasing advantage yan. C3, ayan na. No? Maglalagay na rin ng uh, bishop. Bishop F4, Rook E1. Parang London system lang yung ano nito, development. Knight E5, takes, takes. Knight F3, Queen C8, Knight D4, takes, takes. Isolated, do. Yun lang. Paano mo sasolbi niya? Bishop F1, syempre. Uy, F3! Wow! Tinaksan niya yung king niya. Okay, so queen d7, rook c1, takes, check, napulutan ng pawn. Isa na namang pawn ang napulot. Rook c2, queen b4, queen c1, rook d8, bishop e2. Ayan na. Minano na siya. Dalawang pawn kasi yung lamang eh. Okay, check, takes. Sumabay! Kaya lang, parang nag-resign na yata dito. No? Kasi pag takes, takes, one piece down. No? Wala yata sa condition si Arlea. No? Wala kasing practice ng batang to. Pero malakas to dati. Okay. That's it, guys. Round number five. Ayan. Pili tayo ng maganda-ganda. Uy. May master na. Medyo Hanti-kanti uh, uh, 
Wait lang guys ha. May million na daming gagandang games eh. Okay. Pili tayo sa taas. Okay, ito na lang kay Jessica. Okay. Okay, so I've selected this game si Jessica Fiona Sade. Sade. I'm sorry kung ano ano, hindi ko na po pronounce nang maayos. Sade or Sade, okay. So, kilalang player to, no? Napakalakas na player nito at mathematician pa, magaling sa math, academics. Okay. So, C4, Knight F6, D4, G6. Okay, Catalan. Kings Indian vs. Catanite C3 Fianchetto variation ng kid Okay, C6 Knight E2 Tilpensa ng queen Castle castle Book D1 F3 Bishop D5 H6 Okay, binigay ni Jessica yung bishop pair Bakit kaya? Let's see C5 Oh, pag kinain makukuha Okay, may trick dito guys Hindi kain ng kain ha Pag kumain kain ka dun may mga ganito no So, natama yan. Wow! Grabe, napaka-aggressive ni Jessica, no? I don't know that's the plan here. Siguro, just to simply open yung battery. Takes. Night takes. Takes ulit. Bakit po? Hindi pa pwede night. Takot siya siguro. Pero anyway. Wow! Ayan na. Na-conquer na yung C file. May night C7 threat na. Bishop C6, King H1, iwas sa mga... Ito yung ganito mga move, ang tawag dito guys, prophylactic play, no? Inaaboy nyo yung mga potential na check dito. <coughs> ng queen maya-maya. Kaya iniiwas, nagsa sidestep. Sidestep, parang sa ano, billiard, ayan yung ano, yung blessing eh. Blessing ka muna, pwesto ka muna ng pato. So, King H1, takes a D5, Queen takes D5, Queen D7. Knight c3, wala nang 2 bishops ang white, may weakness ang uh, black sa d6, so work good for white to. Knight b5, ano niyan na, no? May mga ganitong ideas na, delikado na yung ano rito. Queen e6, ayan na. Knight b6, ayun, dito na nagtapos ang tugtugan. Okay, knight c7, rook b8, kain sa queen sabay kasi may kain dito, oh. Yun nga guys, no? sa, sa mga ganito dapat nagkakalculate ka, lalo na pagsabayan tactics ang gagawin mo. Ayan o, oh. wala na yan. Kayang kaya na ni Jessica to. Hindi na ako nagko-comment kasi alam na, alam na this. Ayan na, tapos na. And resign. Okay, so let's uh... Hope uh, to see uh, bukas kung ano nang mga mangyayari no. But let's take a look at their standing no. Tignan natin kung sino leading no. Unahin natin ang uh, boys division standings. Bakit hindi nakaano to? O oh, sige, pwede na yan. Okay, sa boys ang leading guys si Cyrus Vladimir Francisco. Na meron siyang 5 points. Sumusunod si John Clifford Labog, second place, 5 points din. Mark Gerald Reyes, 5 points din. Chester Neil Reyes, fourth place, 4 and a half. John Cedric Gadi, fifth place, 4 and a half. Ayan, so yun yung top 5, guys. So Cyrus, Labog, Mark Gerald Reyes, Chester Neil Reyes, at saka si Johan Cedric Gadi. Okay, let's look at the girls naman. Girls, tignan natin kung sino ang leading. Okay, sa nangunguna si uh, Francesca Largo. Alam ko master to eh. WNM yata to eh. If I'm not mistaken. It's either WNM or WFM. Okay, si Jerlyn May San Diego. Okay, ma alam ko WNM or WFM to. Nakalaban ko to sa pickup eh. Napakalakas na player nito. Pero tabla kami nito. Siya pinakatabla ko isa. O oh, tama, siya yung natablahan ko. Okay, and Samantha Babol Umayan. 
uh, third place, fourth place is Kate Nicole Ordizo, four and a half, four and a half. Uh, so yung dalawang nasa itaas, yung first and second, cinco. Yung three and four, four and a half. And yung five, si Kayla Lane, women national master Kayla Lane Rigidor na meron siyang four points. Okay guys, uh, let's wait for the happening tomorrow. And I hope you uh, like my uh, coverage video of, of the game, M M of the event MV TSF National Secondary Online Rapid Chess Championship 2021. Palarong Pambansa Continuity Plan Pilot Event happening this December 3rd to December 30. Organized by MVP Sports Foundation. Sponsored by SMART. Working with Kagawara ng Edukasyon. And the Committee of Palarong Pambansa. Again, this is your host, uh, National Trainer, National Arbiter, International Chess Coach, Glenn H. Garcia, signing off. Bye, guys!